Countdown is on in less than three days. Tens of thousands of runners will pack the streets of downtown Spokane for the 42nd running of Bloomsday. It is a huge event that requires months of planning and preparation, and this year organizers are making some changes, including where spectators can watch the finish line. Creme 2's Amanda Rowley has more on where you can cheer on your racer. Amanda? Spectators have always been able to get right up next to the finish line for Bloomsday, but this year the closest they'll be getting to the finish line is right here on Broadway. This is the first year for these new rules where only Bloomsday participants and volunteers can have access to the finish line or to even cross Monroe Street Bridge. Well, we have the start well secured, but we hadn't done that to the finish, and we said we better kind of get that done as well. Race director Don Cardong says the enclosed area will be reinforced with fencing and monitored by volunteers and Spokane police. You know, we've never, we have never gotten any threats, so uh, this is just, you know, races all around the country like Bloomsday are taking special precautions now, uh, so uh, we're right, right there with them. The finish line will be in the same location as runners head south down Monroe toward the bridge. Spectators will have to cheer on their family and friends from Broadway on the north side of the river. Finishers will then cross the bridge and have to meet their loved ones downtown. There's plenty of room up there. Uh, they can see everybody coming in. They won't see, see them right at the finish, but they'll be able to get in there just fine. Spokane Police Sergeant Gately talked to me today about those security measures. He says, of course, police officers will be throughout the race course on Sunday. Also keeping an eye out for anything that looks suspicious. And he encourages participants and volunteers alike to report anything suspicious to officers immediately. Reporting in downtown Spokane, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News. Amanda, thank you very much.